Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews with the brand new Noctua NFA12. In a world of RGB and Wi-Fi and phone app control fans, it's really refreshing to finally see someone focus on performance again. Now it has taken Noctua quite some time, I think it's been four and a half years since they released a new fan design because apparently there were quite a few challenges. They would suffer with fans bending too much, touching frames, having to go with too large margins, all that sort of stuff. So let's have a look at this fan up close, see what's in the box and then we'll move to performance. All right, so I don't usually do unboxings anymore, but the reason I'm having a look at the NFA 12 this way is because it's really, really nicely done. So um, first of all, it's next generation 120 by 25, so that's why it says X25 up here. Now, um, really interesting, Noctua doesn't do any other sizing um, than 12 millimeters, so that's why I'll be looking at this little adapter in just a bit. Um, so it's a four pin, I have the PWM, of course, that's why it's four pin. Um, sorry for the camera shake, but I've got the dodgiest setup ever going on here. So it opens up like so, and this is their awesome fan curve. So this is pressure, versus airflow um, and as you can see over here it actually does about as well as their p fan when it comes to pressure but as well as their a or their f fan when it comes to airflow so that's interesting uh, you can also see scope of delivery so the stuff that's in here we'll go over that later um, but just a nice little window here um, and then over here it gives you more information so next generation performance all that sort of marketing mumbo jumbo but you know, as we'll see in a bit, it's actually spot on. Um, the most important thing here is that it uses Sterox instead of PBT to do the fan. So that is what it says here. So this is a much stiffer, but also much more expensive material in which the fan blades are made. And that allows them to have sl um, smaller tip clearances, which should reduce turbulence and therefore noise levels. Another really interesting thing is their six year warranty. That's six whopping years. So if you do end up breaking one, six years of warranty. Try getting that from any other manufacturer. So it just opens up from the top like so. And then inside here is just a plastic thingy with the fan in there. So um, there you go. Nice little knock to a logo embossed in there. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is how many accessories there are. So knock to has these vibration um, damping mounts. So these are just rubbers that you slide into the little fan holes and that will then cancel out uh, vibrations because as we'll see also in the testing, uh, the fans themselves are slightly louder than others, but because you have these mounts in an actual use case when you mount them to a heatsink or to a computer case, they're going to be a lot quieter than other fans that don't have these vibration dampening mounts. And then you can see the fan itself here. So this is that Sterox material. So it has this really cool looking texture to it. It kind of looks rough, but it's actually super smooth. The motor has like metal reinforcement because the whole point is that if they make this plastic better, then they can make these tip clearances smaller, therefore pushing more air through, having less losses from air coming back out again. Uh, and also it should help with noise levels. Now what you can also see on here are these little channels to also assist with airflow. Let's get the fan out though. There we go. Um, what you can see is that these fans have these rubber vibration um, dampening mounts also on all the tips. Really interesting but super annoying thing about these tips by the way. Um, sorry for that. If you look at it here, um, this is like a super narrow mount over here where um, the hole is on that side. If you look here, it's a way wider one. So when you're mounting those metal brackets that you need to use with um, heat sinks, it's super annoying because on this side they're really hard to get in. So I don't know why Noctua has this asymmetrical design going on. I wish these reinforcements just wouldn't be there at all. That would make life a lot easier. Um, so then, another nice feature, a super short cable on here. Um, this really helps with cable management when you mount this one to a heat sink. Then at the back here, again, the SSO2 bearing system, so metal reinforced bearings, um, 2000 RPM. That's all the important stuff here. Now you may say, okay, Lawrence, but that super short cable, what if I want to actually reach my motherboard PWM header? Noctua has you covered. So in the box, you also get one of these extension cables. They're actually quite long. Uh, and then if you need to reach far with your cable, you can use their extension cable. Um, which will give you like an extra 30 centimeters. But if you don't need 
a long cable, you just have the short one. Super, super awesome that they included that. What they also include is a low noise adapter. So if you find it too loud, even with PWM control, you can get this low noise adapter in between the cable and your motherboard or your PWM fan controller and you'll have low noise. Also, a Y splitter. So if you want to use two fans off of one motherboard header, again, Noxia has you covered. Then there are normal fan screws, so these aren't vibration dampening, uh, but it's handy that they include fan screws. Noctua then also, really nicely, uh, they include these rubber gaskets. So if you run this one on a radiator, for example, this will seal off rather nicely uh, to make sure that there's no air loss going on and again, have better cooling performance. And then there are more of, of these mounts as well. Now, as I said, it only comes in a 12 centimeter um, variant at the moment. So Noctua has this one, the N A. SFMA1 fan mounting adapters. So this is basically just a plastic rectangle um, and you mount your 120 millimeter to here like so and then you can use whatever screws or vibration dampening mounts you want. You can of course also use the gasket in here and then they have these pins and that's where you put like radiator screws through or you just screw in from the back with normal screws again and you can have your adapter your fan adapted to a 140 millimeter uh, fan mount. I would really like to see 140 millimeter native fans though, so Nocto, please make these slightly bigger as well. All right then, so performance numbers at last. First of all, the test system though. So I'm doing all the testing on a Ryzen 7 1700 running at 1.4 volts, 3.9 gigahertz of overclock. Case fans set to the lowest setting so that there's still airflow going on to help out the lesser fans and also to not make it too easy on the system. Um, I'm using a Noctua NHD 14 cooler with a single fan in the center of it. So that really stresses the importance of being able to build air pressure. For my testing, I also measured intake and exhaust air temperature using external probes. And to get an idea of how much airflow there is, I can just compare the intake temperature to the exhaust temperature. All right, so first of all, um, looking at the numbers, you can see that the NFA 15, the massive fan that comes with the Noctua NHD 15, does you know a really good job because it is so massive. But a very close second is this one, the NFA 12. So that's really freaking impressive. I mean, if you compare this one to the other fans that I tested, even the 14 centimeter ones, it outperforms everything at both 100%, but also at lower, basically inaudible fan speeds, so 70 and 50%. Now, talking about those inaudible fan speeds, let's have a little look at noise testing. So this is what our audio testing setup looks like. Don't mind all the light here, but we have a sound pressure meter right over there and then we suspend the fan using a bit of string and then rubber bands so that it's completely isolated from vibrations and then a shotgun microphone up top this whole thing is powered by a power supply that's well hidden back there so that's definitely not making anything any louder Looking at the noise numbers, you can see that it's not the most quiet fan because it runs at 2000 RPM. However, if we run the NFA 12 at lower fan speeds, which it still moves enough air at those lower fan speeds to get really good cooling performance, it becomes so quiet that it's really difficult for my sound pressure meter to actually measure the noise levels coming from this fan. So I guess to conclude the video then, the NFA 12 is amazing. It is by far the best 12 centimeter fan. It does an incredible amount of pressure, even if you're running a single fan on a dual tower heatsink, but it also does a lot of airflow looking at intake and exhaust air temperatures. And it does all that while being rather quiet. You know, the PWM control obviously helps and Noctua even includes this PWM speed reduction adapter to make it ultra low noise but why would you even need it? There's a lot of RPM range on the NFA 12. So you can run it completely inaudibly 
on your heatsink 90% of the time. And when you are pushing a massive load on there, it will keep everything cool. So yeah, I can only really recommend this fan. I'm super impressed with it, both from pure temperature results and noise level results. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Let me know why though, so I can improve on the next video. If you have any questions, that's what the comment area is there for. And please, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon as well so you actually get a notification. And if you want to get more frequent updates, there is Twitter and Instagram also linked in the description. But for now, massive thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.